Hi guys, welcome back. This is the Ginger Fan Man 92 here coming back to you today with another ceiling fan video. And what you see here is somewhat of an oddball. This is a Windsor and Brown Brighton in the Hunter Green and Polished Brass finish. This fan dates to April of 1997 and these were sold at Target. So one question you're gonna ask, Target sold ceiling fans? Oh yes, they did. They indeed did. This fan, uh, believe it or not, is a childhood fan to me. This is the first fan when I was five years old, I, before I was five years old, we went to Target and picked out a ceiling fan for my mom's new trailer that she bought in 1997. I was four and a half years old at the time they had bought this back when Target actually had a ceiling fan display in their store. This was one of the models that was actually on that display. So we're gonna take a look at it, shall we? As you see, it's in hunter green and polished brass. Uh, the sticker, the date sticker should be up here somewhere. It should say April of 1997. Uh, there it is, right there. It says 0497. The blades are reversible to from a hunter green to like a knotty pine or just a pine finish, however your preference is. I have the hunter green side of the blade showing. This fan does have a light kit to it, but unfortunately that light kit does not work. And I have no idea why, but I can even demonstrate it for you. Nothing. I mean, it would make a noise or something or, but really it doesn't work. We're gonna go ahead and cut on the fan and see what she does on low. This fan's not really powerful. It's, it's childhood. I did have to take a little bit of time to get this fan cleaned up as really this fan, I don't think this fan has ever been featured on YouTube. Don't quote me on that, but the Windsor and Brown was a line of ceiling fans that were sold in Target stores. I'm not entirely sure who else may have sold them, but they did have a uh, Casablanca Mercury copy that has uh, C-shaped blade arms and it came in a handful of finishes. I think Chrome I know is one of them. I think Black it came in and a few others but um, there were a lot of ceiling fans that were sold at Target. As you see, this fan doesn't really go very fast. I'm not entirely sure the specs of this fan. I think it may use a 153. I'm not even entirely sure of that. I know like the motor design is the same kind of motor design that they use on the Westinghouse Euro Swirl as well as a Casa Vieja that actually has the same kind of motor design. It makes me seem to think that their OEM may be Westinghouse, but I don't entirely know for sure on that. Um, but yeah, this fan has been in my life for right around 26 years now, about 26 years and a couple months, really. Uh, so it really holds a huge piece of uh, my heart. I was kind of sad to take it down, but because the light kit didn't work was one of the main reasons why I took it down. It ended up getting replaced with a Litex footprint vent, and now it's a Gulf Coast Dixie Bell with cane blades. We're gonna go ahead and crank this fan up to medium and see what it really does. I think it may have a drifting capacitor some now, as due to its age. But these fans are really nostalgic, especially from the childhood sense. 
as you see there's not really much of a difference between medium and low but if i could ever find a new and box one of these i would be happy i have a speculation that they may have made a six bladed model of this fan because i had found one recently on marketplace that looked exactly like this but it had six blades but it was in white and brass with oak blades and white blades so it makes me with a four light instead of three so it makes me seem to think they also had a six bladed model of this at one point in time but as you hear them if you can hear it in the background the bearings are hissing the fan obviously isn't in the greatest shape, but I hope to take this fan apart and maybe look at it and see what I can do to restore it. Maybe get it better running. But these fans I know of came in at least four finishes that I know of. Maybe five. I know they came in hunter green and brass as seen here. White and brass full on white and polished brass. And I believe there's an antique brass one as well. I know the white and brass one had uh, white and oak blades. The white one has white and like whitewash. The hunter green one seen here has hunter green and uh, pine blades. And the polished brass one I know has white and oak blades. But we're gonna go ahead and crank this fan up to high and see what it really does. And yeah, this bearing is hissing badly. There's not really much of a difference in speed functions here. So, it's definitely got a nice little hiss to it. So I feel like the bearings is probably going to need to be replaced and the capacitor is definitely going to need to be replaced. Once I eventually do that, I'm sure this fan's going to run perfectly. It's just trying to get this thing apart was already a pain enough to do. Um, there is no wobble to it, which is very surprising despite how long I've had this fan. Um... I really don't have much else to say. I mean, it was a good model for as long as I've had it. I'm never gonna get rid of this fan just because of childhood reasons, but I would love to find a new inbox one if I ever could. And if I do, great. If not, I'd love to at least get the other finishes of these because it, it just shows you that you don't really see these kind of fans ever. And this is the second green fan I actually own, as the first one was my Craftman. This is really the first one I've ever owned. And then the JCPenney and then my Craftmade. So there, this is the second, this is the second video of the green fans in my collection. I'll eventually go back and get the JCPenney one and do a video of that one as well. But we're gonna go ahead and do spin down. I mean, like I said, this fan does have a bearing noise and I'm pretty sure the capacitor is starting to bow out some, but it's childhood. So there's not much else to really say about it. And I know at the time, a lot, I've noticed a lot of Target fans use the skinnier kind of blades. They also have a builder one that I used to own many of years ago that's pretty much flush mountable only that used skinny blades like this and it had pretzel style blade arms with builder vents. That is also a Windsor and Brown and I don't remember the name of it, like the actual model name. But they're, they were the line, like I said and before, they were the lineup of fans sold through Target stores. This fan, 
obviously it was purchased at a Target store. So, but yeah, spin down is definitely not bad, especially for a fan with a kind of a bad capacitor or something. But I mean, it's definitely cool and, and an oddball. Either if I decide to even have the light kit, I may just rewire it. Maybe somebody can give me some details or how to do that. And if not, I'm just gonna leave it as is and maybe just put a green, get a switch cap and just spray paint it green to match the finish. But there you guys have it. This is a Windsor 52 inch Windsor and Brown Brighton ceiling fan. This is the Ginger Fan Man 92 here. Don't forget to like, follow, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a great day. Take care.